Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to say is going to piss a lot of people off. And I really, really don't care. And I really, really mean it. Y'all can kick rocks. All I got to do is stay black and die. And I really mean that. Stan Lee was a greedy, old ass bastard. Stan Lee was a false prophet. Stan Lee was a liar. Stan Lee, the legend. Everybody, let's stand for Stan Lee. Let's stand up. Because that dude was a fucked up man. That dude, Stan Lee, he stole a lot of ideas. He was not the one that created all these Marvel characters. He fucked over Jack Kirby. If you know anything about comic books, he screwed over Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby created Spider-Man, Daredevil, characters like Fantastic Four. <laughs> Stan Lee was just a publisher. Now, I will say this. Stan Lee was a great promoter. He did create Marvel in a way he put it in a new platform for it to make money. He was a businessman. He was the Jerry Jones of Marvel. I give him that. I just don't understand an old man like that that was like 95, 94 was worth like 50 million dollars. Why he will travel all over the world for comic cons and charge people that much money. That was wrong. He was charging people a hundred dollars for an autograph and then a fucking hundred dollars to take a picture with them. Are you fucking kidding me? At age 94, 95, he was in a fucking wheelchair. What I'm practically saying is, what the fuck was he gonna do with all that money? He was making four or five hundred grand per show. And I just felt like it was wrong. The last years of him living, he was getting so much money off his fan base when he sh really should be giving. He should have been giving away to his fans. He should not have charged people a hundred dollars to take a goddamn picture with them. That is fucking wrong, people. He should have been giving us love. He should have been taking pictures for free. I could see if he charged us for the autograph, but it should have been like maybe twenty or thirty dollars. Like, dude, you're already fucking rich. You're in a wheelchair. You barely can fucking move. What was you going to do with all that money? I hope you're happy now. Did you take the money to wherever you're going? And a lot of people's going to be like, Paul, he's dead. Let it go. I can't. I really, really can't. Because I was standing in his line for four hours. Ooh, I was. I met a lot of good people. I really, really did. I even had fun. But I was so disappointed when I met Stan Lee. He could have shaked my hand. I've given this man almost $200. He could have said, thank you for coming. That's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit and then I talked to a lot of people especially white people and they said well he's old fuck that shit fuck that shit if I was a celebrity and I cut through the line or something 
and he knew who I was, he would have said something to me. But because I'm nobody, because I'm some average Joe, he didn't say anything. Not a thank you for coming. Not even a handshake. Barely even looked at me. Then when I went to the area to take a picture with him, he said nothing at all. He looked like a goddamn statue. I paid a hundred fucking dollars to take a picture with someone that looked like a statue. That's fucked up. It really, really is. And I cannot believe the false prophet. I cannot believe how many people think that he created all these Marvel characters. You're wrong. You really, really are. He motivated Marvel, I would say that. He promoted Marvel to a new level, and that's why Marvel is the cash brand that it is now. But that was it. Nothing more, nothing less. I wouldn't even be surprised that the man barely knew how to draw. <laughs> Before I end this video, I'm gonna have one more clap. For the greedy old bastard. Everybody stand up and clap your hands. Right below, tell me what you think. To be honest, if you don't agree with me, I could really give a damn. Go to hell. But if you understand what I'm saying, you would know what I'm saying makes sense. Look up the history of Marvel. That's why Marvel didn't respect him. His own daughter said Marvel didn't respect him over the years. You know why? Because he really didn't create all those characters, he was a publisher. Just